Picking up a drop stitch on garter stitch like this swatch here is particularly tricky because you do have to alternate picking up knit wise and purl wise. Even if you're knitting garter stitch flat where you knit every row, picking up the stitch still requires that alternation. Otherwise you're going to have a very obvious picked up stitch. So to start, let's look at kind of the way that this drop stitch looks on the fabric. And you can see the ladders some of them fall behind the fabric and then some of them are more prominent in the front here. So there is actually, so there's three that are setting behind and then three that are setting in the front. And we can use that to determine whether or not we pick it up knit wise or purl wise. When I look here, I have my drop stitch. I'm gonna use the crochet hook to pick this up first. So first things first, I wanna put this on the needle or on the crochet hook to get it out of the way. When I pull the hook up and pretend that this is a like a knitting needle, I can see that there is a bump right below the loop that's on the crochet hook. So that means that that was a purl stitch or in this case of knitting flat, this last row was knit on the wrong side. That means that my next ladder to pick up will be picked up knit wise. And if I pull this down, I can see the ladder rung that's set kind of behind is follows along with this knit row above. So I can do stitch, pick up the ladder and pull it through and everything still looks uniform across our rows. Now the next ladder rung is the one that's on the front here. And you can see that this follows along this bottom ridge. So that's gonna be a purl pickup. And also I just picked up a knit stitch so I know that a purl would be next. But for picking up purl wise, we go from the top down under the ladder rung, under the stitch, then just move the ladder rung over the stitch so it's uh, in front of it. So you can pull that pearl through. And now I have my pearl bump and this is continuous in that row. So next, again, I have a knit. And that one, those little knit ladders like to hide. So you might have to move your fabric around here a little bit to find that. And I can pull that down and through. And then this really obvious one, those pearls are right in your face. I'm gonna go again from the top down under the ladder into the stitch and pull that through. And then again, knit wise. So that little hidden guy back there. So through the stitch then the ladder and pull the ladder through. And then this last one is going to be a purl again. There we go. Now I'm gonna put this back on the left needle. So the right leg is on the front. And you can see we just have continuous garter rows all the way across. Now I'm gonna drop a stitch and show you how to do this with just knitting needles if you don't have a crochet hook handy. Let's do four ladders here. So to pick up, an, to pick up knit wise, I'm gonna put the stitch first on the left needle and then find that first knit ladder rung. So the one closest to the stitch, it's a little trickier to find there. And then you can use your right needle to pull that stitch over the ladder. Now, find the next ladder rung, and that's that more obvious front one for the pearls. I'm putting this on my left needle, and then I'm gonna transfer the stitch over to the left needle, move that pearl ladder rung in front or to the left of the stitch. And then I'm using my left needle. You can see I'm going behind the ladder 
to pull it over the stitch. Okay. Now, transfer it back over to the left needle. Find the next knit one, which is here. And then use the right needle to pull the stitch over to the left. And then I just have one final, with one final ladder to pick up, I'm putting it on the right needle, slipping that stitch over to the left needle, and moving the ladder to the front or to the, the left of that stitch, and then use the left needle, do this from a different angle this time. So I'm going, un taking the left needle under that leg and into the stitch and then using that to pull it over. Now I just want to transfer that or slip it back over to the left needle and I can knit that stitch. So wiggle the fabric a little bit to even your gauge back out and now you've picked up a dropped stitch with garter stitch. If this helped you or you learned something new with this video, please like it. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and subscribe for more tutorials weekly on Knit House.